Only Arsenal have enjoyed a better run of results in London derbies this season than Brentford, who put their seven-game and beaten run in Premier League fixtures against teams from the capital against West Ham. They put it to the test again. The Hammers won here in the third round of the FA Cup in January, but their principal focus now, progress in the UEFA Conference League. A second leg semi-final against AZ in the Netherlands this coming Thursday. Brentford drew a blank at Liverpool, losing 1-0, so Thomas Frank makes three changes. David Raya has been an ever-present in goal this season. Sharda. Helped away by Johnson, but to no great effect. Boom up. In by Sharda. Dan's got arriving. A good in singing cross, wasn't it, from that left hand side from Sharda? Dam's goal got in there late, as you can see, but he gets in front of the keeper, Fabianski. I wonder if he's booked his tickets for the Netherlands on Thursday. Well, there's one over here, it's Bumo who puts Brentford in front. First sight of goal, first opening, and it's Brian Ubumo who gives Brentford the advantage. It's been a sleepy opening 20 minutes. But Ambumo in the clear and beating Fabianski with ease. Well, West Ham got dragged all over the place here, Tony. And they had a big overload on the side of Emerson in the left-back spot. Ogbonna. Emerson allowed to run a long way and able to take the shot on. Well, it's better. It's more direct, isn't it? If you're offered that opportunity to run in between, in between the lines, then run into it. Don't be afraid of it. Look, if you lose the ball, there's plenty of your own players back behind it. it does come with its problems, though, doesn't it? Thursday, Sunday, and players having so many games, but I'd rather have that. Hickey. What's up? Splendid shot by Fabianski. Saw it late, got down late, but held on. Well, if maybe he should have had the first goal, this was a great save from Fabianski because the reflexes are really good getting low down to his right-hand side. Here we go. They pretend to go short. If my thinking is right, pretend to go short and then go longer. There we go. There we go. It happens every time. You've been doing and your homework this week, oh, haven't you? Oh, without a doubt. And then you become a little bit more agitated as the throwing comes in. Another long throw. Sharda with a flick on, punched away by Fabianski. Bissab! Two terrific stops there by Fabianski. And then eventually drilled wide. Magnificent again from Lukas Fabianski. Well, ben Mee was on the back of that. But how did that stay out? Mad scramble, wasn't it? There's the first flick on, which is important. Fabianski doesn't quite clear his lines, and in the end, he's sprawling at the save, and it comes out again, and there's another couple of great blocks. Three defenders and the goalie all combining, but there's that anxiety in the defending that it causes. You just wait a little bit longer, and then when it comes in, everybody's anxious, slinging their bodies at the ball, and Brentford nearly convert. Maybe should have converted in the end as it comes out here. This was the probably the best chance. Might be a short one this time, just to vary it up. But let's see if it happens. Look to offer up to a few short throws. There we go. Yeah, everyone comes short, then retreat, and the long one comes in. And then everybody piles into the six-yard area. Jensen with the throw. Bend me up. Yeah! Whistle with the goal. Brentford so difficult to defend against. And Johan Visser, given his chance today because of the injury to Ivan Tony, has claimed Brentford's second goal. 17 set play goals now this season for Brentford. Time and time again they do it. And time and time again they get success. Yeah, and it's so difficult. <laughs> this has gone to celebrate with virtually everyone.
It's the supporting role for Johan Wisser this season, but that's his seventh goal. His sixth goal, rather, in the Premier League. Seven now for Bumo. And an immediate response. Danny Ings with a shot which forced the best out of David Raya. Almost from the kickoff. Good stop, wasn't it? Danny Ings took it well in his stride, straight from the kickoff from Aguirre. Long diagonal ball. I wonder if West Ham will toy with making a double or a triple change at the interval because Declan Rice is among those who's been limbering up. He's gone to sit down again in the technical area now, but here's Sharda. Brentford looking for a third. Bumo, time to set himself. Hickey. Well, he will have to wait a while longer for his first Brentford goal. And West Ham just trying to sit in their shape, but uh, sitting ducks at the moment. They're just trying to set each other up on the edge of the area. Bumo eventually sets it up for Hickey. He tries to strike it a little bit too hard because it's on his wrong foot and he drags it wide. Bumo getting in behind Emerson. This are arriving. Johnson will get there ahead of Sharda. Given away by Sochek. Wissab should have scored. Should be three. But Thomas Sochek playing himself into trouble and playing his teammates into trouble. And you can't give, give the ball away in these positions. They did it in the first half. It Ended up a goal, so check give one away recently against Palace like that as well. Rico Henry. Bumo unmarked if he can pick him out. Instead, he goes for Sharda. Bumo still unmarked. Here he is! Ogbonna got in the way. It was simply too easy for Brentford. Yeah, good little move, wasn't it, Henry, down the outside. Sharda with a cross. This is a really good cross because he picks him out on the far post. Obonna gets the block in really well with his foot, just sticks it up there, just trying to get something in the way. Comes off his thigh. Jensen with a corner kick. Me! It was Damsgaard who managed to get his foot to the ball as it flew to him from Ben Mee. Just a simply a reaction movement, wasn't it, Tony? So, you say he should have scored, but uh, when it's that quickly upon you, look, he's just thrusting his leg out. He's horrified by it, but uh, it was on him so quickly from that flick from Ben Mee. Then by Johnson. It's come through to Ben Rama. Ben Rama looking to find an opening. Oh, it's come back off the post, and it's been bundled into the Brentford net by Danny Ings. Well, VAR having a look for a possible handball. Oh. Danny Ings not involved. It was as the ball came back off the angle oh. of post and bar. Well, it came and off. And hit Divin Mubama. Yeah, but it's hit the post. It's come back on only, him only within six inches. Will they say that's... Does it result with one header going back in first uh, in after that, Tony? But that, that, that's a harsh one, isn't it? And that's the verdict. Disallowed for handball. Because it's resulted in a goal, but it's a harsh one, isn't it? Emerson running into trouble, and that should be it. A comfortable win for Brentford. Secured with two first-half goals. The first from Brian Bumo, the second from Johan Visser. They might have scored more had it not been for Lucas Fabianski, who made a couple of great saves. West Ham offered very, very little. Their priority is the second leg of their European semi-final in the Netherlands this coming Thursday. Straight forward for the Bees at the GTEC Community Stadium, where it has finished Brentford 2. West Ham United nil.